pulse is a single disturbance in the medium a pulse is a single disturbance in the medium it doesn't get easier than that right so that's the answer for 2.1 a pulse is a single disturbance in a medium and now let's move to 2.2 and see what we can do here uh, so the diagram below shows two pulses l and m right as we can uh, clearly see on the left hand side right we have pulses l and m traveling in opposite directions in a row the amplitude of pulse l is unknown and that of pulse m is seven centimeters and then the two pulses they meet at point x point x is right here right and the resulting amplitude is shown below right we have a resulting amplitude of four centimeters and then uh, the question that follows 2.2.1 what type of interference takes place at x what type of interference takes place at x so let's just cover the basics right if we have two pulses one being above rest position and the other one being below rest position then they interfere destructively right so we have what we call destructive interference right uh, that's that happens all the time when we have two pulses one being above equilibrium and one being below equilibrium right and then if we have two pulses both being above the line of equilibrium then we go into experience constructive interference right we're going to experience constructive interference right but then as you can see here on the example we have we have two pulses one being above uh, the equilibrium and one being below the equilibrium so the type of interference that is going to take place in 2.2.1 is going to be destructive interference right so our answer for this question will be destructive interference and then now let's do 2.2 so 2.2.2 is saying that uh, why is it possible to apply the principle of superposition at x right so we can only apply the principle of superposition when two pulses occupy the same space at the same time right so that's the condition we have for the principle of superposition the two pulses occupy the same place at the same time right and then uh, let's move to 2.2.3 so 2.2.3 saying let's determine the amplitude of l right we given the amplitude of m and the resultant amplitude after they meet right and we know that uh, the resultant amplitude will be equals to the amplitude of l plus the amplitude of m the resultant amplitude will be minus four right why are we putting a minus sign we put in a minus sign because uh, the resultant is below equilibrium right and that will be equals to the amplitude of l and then plus the amplitude of m the amplitude of m is also below the position of equilibrium right so we're going to substitute it with a negative sign so we're going to have minus seven so if we take minus seven to the left hand side we're going to have minus four plus seven is equals to the amplitude of l so three centimeters is equals to the amplitude of l right and just like that we've determined the amplitude of l and now 2.2.4 2.2.4 is saying that in which direction does pulse m move after the two pulses pass each other right either to the left or to the right if these two amplitudes meet at x then that tells us that m is moving to the left right uh, so the answer to 2.2.4 will be to the left right pulse m will continue moving to the left while pulse l continue moving to the right